Hello everyone and welcome back to Operation Cypher. This is Dursput playing the Japanese player. We are here in, I believe, January of 1939. That is correct. And some things are happening around the board. Um, my counterparts over in Europe decided it was time to go take France. Um, and Poland and Romania so they're doing all right over there um, France isn't looking so good anymore uh, even though they did get most of their the rolls for their everywhere I think Vichy only got one dollar and it's here um, other than the ones that they get naturally so that's no good um, but Anyways, that's uh, it was a it was a good turn over here in in Europe. It went well. Um, over here in the Pacific, we've got some stuff going on. We've taken most of China, and uh, they're just kind of holed up here in Yunnan, and it's quite the force there in the mountains. Um, so we'll see what we can do about that. Um, so before I get going on my turn here. Um, last turn, when the UK collected money, Davik switched the FEC money and the ANZAC money. There's no reason that ANZAC should have more than FEC. And I remember saying something about it, but we never did anything about it um, until I saw Major Foe affect his income on uh, his turn. So I believe that... FEC should have collected seven, and they lost one to Convoy, leaving them at six. And Anzac should have collected five, and they didn't get convoyed, so they should be still at five. If that's incorrect, let me know, but I believe that's how the income should be um, for the British um, as of right now. Um, and then over here in Spain, me and... Uh, Deathidist were doing this roll here and the AA gun hit the fighter um, but there were only supposed to be two rolls we've determined in our um, discord chat that if we'll just roll a die and if it's a 1 through a 4 the fighter still dies and if then if it's a 5 through a 12 it doesn't die um, that's the third each or a third versus two thirds um just it's just it, the math works <laughs> so um yeah we'll uh we'll go ahead and see if the fighter dies one through four fighter dies five through twelve it misses and survives five through twelve it survives so we will go grab a fighter Uh, I'm sure he would have put it back in to Madrid. That's where I'd put it. Um, so he'll continue to roll recruitment over there for Spain. But now he's got one extra fighter, which is exciting. Um, I've got a few other things that i got to go over. This French, French friend all needs to go away. It's free France now. Um, then... While I was prepping for my turn, I realized that I no longer have a tech on stage one of large ship construction. If you go back to my last turn uh, that Deathidist uh, recorded for me, when he deleted the dice over here, he deleted this roundel as well um, on accident. And I just now noticed it on my turn, so this should be here. You guys can go back and take a look at the video um, you'll see where it gets deleted but it should be there um, and then I just re I also realized that we were supposed to we sh should probably be trying to keep up with this um, the victory cities um, so Paris falls to Germany so we go up one they go down one Nanking fell a two feet. Oh, 
See, that, there's, there's where it happens, right there. And it's still highlighted, and you go to delete something. Whoops. <laughs> All right, and then Ant King is under Japanese control. So axis go up another one. Now let's go down another one. I didn't think to look at any of these. I don't believe I have any. Um, Germany, if you have one of these. Nope, Germany does actually. We have one Spanish Civil War. So for right now, that's another one there. I have no idea what this is or that is. So um, I think this is the Atlantic Wall, um, which he does not have. I don't believe I have any, but I just want to try and keep better track on this. Um, yeah, I think that's all the housekeeping that I would wanted to do. Um, on to our production phase. Um, during the production phase of January of 1939, Siam aligns to Japan. So Japan goes up a dollar to 32. Also get a few things. We've got a militia. See, there, there it happened again. All right, the militia. We've got a destroyer. And we've got a torpedo destroyer. All right. So that stuff lines to the Japanese, which is exciting stuff. Um, so that's that. On to our actual production phase. So we'll go to tech real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and move along with long range aircraft and large ship construction and hopefully I can hit one of those. Nope, sure can't. All right, on to purchases. I was really hoping I could get to level two on something. All right, we've got a fighter for 10, two Japanese cavalry for We are at thirty-nine dollars, so uh, ten, twenty-nine, six for two cavalry. Twenty-three. We're going to move the carrier. Oh my gosh! Kind of off my game tonight. We're going to move the carrier along one space for five. I believe it's five. I hope it's five. Uh, five. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to start a new heavy cruiser for five, and I believe, let's see, heavy cruiser is five, so five more. And then I believe it's only capital ships. If I start a capital ship, capital ships are fleet carriers and battleships right now, so um, that does not affect the U.S. Um, we're going to produce two marines for eight. Uh, infantry and a militia for five, leaving me with no money. I guess we'll do what everyone else does and move this over here. All right, on to combat movements. We're only doing one combat movement, much to my chagrin. I was, I actually sent the Ian a text uh, telling him what I was bringing in here, and then I decided against it. Um, so I will not be attacking Ian on this turn as much as I might want to, but we are going to attack something. So the 97th, which is consists of an infantry and artillery and a mountain infantry, is going to walk down one to Shejuan. 
as well as um, the artillery out of Pope. Mm. We'll just send infantry as well. All right, so this all goes in there, and then I'm going to send the fighter one two, the tactical bomber one two, the tactical bomber one two. Then this medium bomber can go one, two, three, four, and it has one. It has a movement of five, so it'll have one movement left. Um, it's not necessary, but might as well. And sadly, that is my only combat movement uh, this turn. So we'll. Go ahead and, and I didn't do as much set up this round as I did the round where I did all those attacks. So we will take all of this, take all of this, go down to the board. <laughs> Apologies, I didn't set this up ahead of time, but I've been busy. So we've got our artillery, it's all in mountains, so we've got one infantry at one, one infantry at two, two artillery at two, the mountain at three, the medium bomber at seven, the two, there, the fighter at six, the two tactical bombers at seven with target select, and he's got one militia at a two, and then he's got uh, three infantry at four. So, and then there. So we've got this green. This will be uh, well, no, that's already orange. Yellow. This will be. Red. This will be purple, and then the two tacticals will be I don't know blue. All right, so we've got the two artillery at first strike at a two, as well as the infantry. But we'll just do the two artillery first, two or less. Nothing. We've got the Infantry at one, which is the green, and the infantry at two, which is the yellow. Oh my gosh. Infantry hit, so the militia dies. The uh, mountain at three, two, that kills one of these infantry. And then we've got the fighter. The tactical bombers are blue. Not that the target select matters anymore. One, two more hits. So that is everything. All right, so he then he's got in rebuttal one militia and three infantry. One hit, so I will lose this infantry, and that is the end of the combat. All right, back over here. On to my non-combats. These planes, I had two come from here. So one, two. Um, and then they can go three, four, up to there. Medium bomber has one movement left. It'll go to Hunan. The fighter will also go in there. All right, so that's all the landing of my units. So this dies and gets replaced with this. So I don't go up any, but I do sadly lose the last American. 
countries. Sad day. The Americans don't like me anymore, so. Alright. On to the rest of my non-combats. I've got two transports up here in the Sea of Japan. Um, one will pick up both Marines and go down to Hunan. We're going to ignore it. Let's just grab these things. This will be a much better use here. They will go down to Hunan. Or Quang Tung, sorry. Quick artillery, the mountain, the other artillery, and the infantry in Jejuan. Okay, this goes here. All right, so these transport. One of the transports pick, went uh, picked up this. The two Marines went one, two, three. Landed on this card. We've got another transport. Or the other transport there is going to go one two, three, go to the card as well, and pick up this cavalry, put it here. The, um, this infantry, um, it could have gone on to that transport that just dropped the cavalry off, but it can also just walk across there um, because of the narrow crossing or straight or whatever um, so that's it can get there no problem um, the one of the transports one mm, we'll do two transports roll back up to the Sea of Japan did not do anything this last round uh, the torpedo destroyer and the destroyer will go join this. Hmm. No, we're gonna take two. To, we're gonna take the destroyer from Siam. One, two, three, and it'll go up to the Sea of Japan. This transport will not go up there. The torpedo boat destroyer will go up to this. Um. The sorry, one sec. I did not plan all this out beforehand like I probably should have. Um, the other destroyers. Uh, just one more destroyer will go up to the Sea of Japan. That's fine. For, yeah, okay. Um, and then we've got other non combats. Uh, this coastal sub will go down one to P59. This coastal sub will stay there. And I believe that is all of my non-combats. Actually, these subs are also going to come down to this card. All of my subs and light cruisers. that and that should be it for non-combats sorry that took way longer than it should have um, on to place units we're going to place some units here we're going to take the fighter uh, we're going to put one cavalry in Kyushu, two infantry in Kyushu. The other cavalry will go into Riki. The infantry will go into Kyushu. 
to the militia, we'll go into Nanking. The fighter will also go into Kyushu. That's one, two, three, four, five. Five units into Kyushu. That's fine. Is that where I want it? Uh, it doesn't really have any better spot. We'll put it in Tokyo. It's got an air base there. Doesn't really matter though. So, all right. That should be it for replace units. On to a recruitment rule for SAM, which I no longer get. Um, then on to collect income. So, I went up a dollar to 32. I get a dollar for each one of these, so I get 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 dollars. So, I went down one dollar. I should go down a dollar. I might have saved a dollar last turn. Um, so, I have 38 dollars to spend next round. All right. That was just a bunch of rambling. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I will uh, see you guys back here in July of 1939, where the tech really gets going. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. That's the wrong button.